it makes pretty good work of this brush. So this is going to be, this is what we call cabin spot one, where we had hoped to someday build a little cabin. It's a nice high spot back in the woods. Uh, there's a swamp nearby, and this is what I call the logging trail. It goes back here. But the idea is to uh, make a nice spot to park the camper. And I'm thinking right along these, uh, this row of pine trees here, I need to come in and clip all them branches off and then get in real close to those pine trees so I can park the camper right here with the door facing out this way. And I think this will be a nice spot to store the camper as well as come back and camp and spend some time you know, on our own property, not far from home but just out, uh, out away from, from work and, and things like that. So this is a way we can get away without really getting away. But I'm gonna take a little walk back here because I've been trying to also make some trails. I'd like to have trails throughout the, the woods here. Uh, there's about 10 acres, maybe, I don't know, eight, eight acres, something like that of, of forested area here on the property. And this is the trail that was kind of here when, when we moved in, but that I've expanded on and extended. And it's a trail that I use to come in and get wood, uh, usually in the winter time, because I hate mosquitoes trail used to end right up here. Man, that brush hog is awesome. It just tears through this stuff. I mean, trees, everything just mows it over. That in combination with the bucket on the front of the tractor, I can just blaze right through anything. The only problem I run into is that I've got some of these, oh, I guess I blew that one right out of the ground. Okay, cool. Well, that takes care of that stump. There's a bunch, bunch more. This one right here. To try to dig that out. Or just leave it. But I can't really run the brush hog through here because of those big stumps. So I just laid the bucket down and plowed through. Ride the four-wheelers through here a few times. It'll chew this stuff up. This is the way, this is all this, all this property out here is all sand. I'd come back here and make a, dig this up for the sandbox. I mean, this is, this is good sand. So I'd like to make this trail, you know, for hikes and riding the four wheelers, take golf cart rides through the woods, whatever. So we'll see if I can make it connect all the way through. Might have to get the chainsaw out. I just plowed through this tree. That tractor is just awesome. Just ran into it with the bucket, lifted it up, pushed it right out of the way. I wonder if we can get right through here. Let's see how much poison ivy I end up with by the end of the day. Okay. This is a little, a little ditch there, but I think it's not too wet. I don't think I get stuck. Just drive right through here. This is the maple forest we're coming into. So this is where all of our maple trees are. Bulldoze half this crap over with the tractor. Just plow, plow through here. It's kind of muddy, but yeah. I just need to take the tractor through here. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then we come out over here and back up to the farm. So that's that's a good trail right there, a good little camp trail. Gotta start somewhere. 
Well, now that I'm all the way up here, they're so bold this time of year. I just stand there. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Maybe he thinks that I can't see him because he's standing so still. I'd stand still, but the mosquitoes are killing me. Come here. Come here, dear. Come here. Yeah, come here, both of you. Can you imagine if hunting season was this easy? Just call the deer up. Come on, guys. Yeah, come on up. All right, how about this? I'll walk towards them and see if they... Nope, they're gone. <laughs> now to go get the gator and a chainsaw and a pole saw. Um, and some mosquito repellent. Well, it definitely needs some work, but this is the first time that we have had an actual trail through the woods that we can uh, ride on. Maybe someday ride horses through and uh, <laughs> ride our new little five-wheeler through uh, and the little pink four-wheelers for the kids and uh, maybe go-karts in the future and other stuff. So I'm trying to make a track for the kids so they can get through and, and, uh, and have some fun. And, and also we can just take little nature hikes. It's really nice to go just walk out through the woods and... Uh, the camping spot is coming along, so more work on that, and we'll see how, uh, how everything comes together. We need to get a fire pit going next. Well, so far, the trails, the newly blazed trails, have been a success. We have uh, had them in business for a couple days here, had the, the trail in business. I guess I don't have several yet. Now, the kids have enjoyed them. They've gotten used to the little quirks and things I need to clean up still. <laughs> there are some holes and roots and tree stumps and things we need to, we need to clear out. Lots of work still to be done. But uh, they've been able to make, it, make a go of it and make it around um, in the little pink four-wheelers and the, the, the five-wheel gator. And the trails aren't quite wide enough for a vehicle yet, but uh, that'll be... <laughs> we'll, we'll have to put some more work in out here and get some more trees cut down and things and make it wide enough for the vehicle. But uh, here, here come the girls. But they've been having quite a bit of fun on the trail so far, I think. I can hear the, the constant whir of uh, four-wheelers tearing around the property, so it's a lot of fun. So lots more to come on trailblazing. We'll probably get some wood chips brought in, uh, or, or we'll bring some wood chips in and, and uh, make these trails really nice. I'd like to be able to, you know, anybody to, to cruise around on the golf cart even, 
um, so nice and smooth and that. So we got a, got a lot of work, but blazing trails out here is uh, something I've wanted to do for years, and we're finally getting to it. So uh, more to come on this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little, little trail blazing. I didn't get a lot of video of the tractor blazing through because running that brush hog is uh, one of the tools that I'm a little nervous around still and I don't like getting on off the tractor. It takes a long time to, to spin down the momentum of that thing and turn it back on and off and it's a real hard on the tractor starting it up and so um, I don't like getting on and off and moving cameras around. So, so I didn't get a lot of great video of the tractor actually blazing through those trails but man it was, uh, it was just a monster. Lay that bucket down, let it clip through all the trees and other things, moving things out of the way, any dead brush on the ground, and then that brush hog behind just chopping everything to bits and laying it in the path of the, of the uh, tractor just works out really, really well. And anything below two inches just got blazed over. Um, and anything bigger than two inches, I'd get out with the chainsaw and cut it out of the way. So worked out pretty good. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video as always, and look forward to more fun in the woods as we get into the fall here, maybe put up some hunting blinds and deal with some other things out here in the woods. Should be a lot of fun. So look forward to that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.